fall activity report. Think of it as your chapter's end of the semester term paper, where the only ways that you can fail is if you decide to turn in late or not to do it at all. Here now are a few pro tips from your National Council to help you successfully fill out this very crucial piece of national paperwork for the organization. As you begin working on the fall activity report, it's important to approach it with a clearly defined strategy. Some objectives to aspire for is, of course, filling out the report, making it informative, and making sure that it's all turned in by December 1st. As you work on filling it out, it's very important to review the information needed to complete this report. So if you have any questions, always feel like you can reach out to your district counselors and the National Council for assistance. And always remember that this is a team project, so enlist chapter officers and chairs to assist with the details on each of the sections, such as membership, service, and finances. And with any project that has a deadline, you want to make sure that you don't wait until the last minute to fill out this report. Also keep in mind that both your sponsor and your director of bands have to approve it in order for it to be considered complete. Here now is a quick snapshot of some of the things that we ask for. In both the national obligations and chapter finance sections, it's crucially important that the most accurate numbers are provided. This allows us to get a snapshot as to how your chapter is doing in membership numbers as well as financially. In the activities and operations section, we simply want to know what things that your chapter did this semester, from band service to how you've promoted our national programs. And a little pro tip there, don't just say we participate and focus on five. Be specific. Chapter goals. What are some goals that your chapter have for the rest of the school year? And are they smart? Are they specific? Are they measurable? Are they achievable? Are they relevant? And are they timely? Finally, membership education. It's important not to skip these questions. They should be answered, even if it means you're letting us know that you didn't have a fall class. For those of you who did, the next few questions can be copy and pasted from your MEP. So coordinate with your VP of membership on this section. One other pro tip as you are filling out the fall activity report, especially right now, is to remember to factor in any changes and anything you had to do a little bit differently due to COVID-19. What were some ways that your chapter adapted while operating remotely? We hope these pointers have set you on a pathway to filling out a truly fantastic fall activity report. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the National Council by emailing council at tbsigma.org.